Hey there everyone, this is SCR Safety. Welcome back to the next system test. Today I'm testing out a new camera, so please let me know what you think of the audio and the video quality. It's 4K at 60 frames a second, so that's pretty impressive in my opinion. Let's get started. Today we have two Gentex GX horn strobes, and these are really just a Gentex mini horn with a strobe attached to the side. So they sound just like a smoke alarm, but they also do flash. And we have two of them. They're both set on March time, and at least the horns will be synced. The strobes won't be synced. Right here, this is a Gentex low frequency sounder horn only, and that is wired into the emergency push station right here. The last change on the system is this right here. This is a Thorn Automated Systems RMS 1T LP, and it is metallic, it's dual action. This is the inside here. And as you can see, it's originally branded by RSG, and uh, there's the model on the inside. Put that back so you can see you can lift it and pull it down. I do have some of these for sale on scrsafety.com. They're not too expensive and shipping is free. And I'll also be getting some Simplex T-bars in soon and some SKI stoppers, I believe. Uh, some of them on the store right now don't have a little grip at the bottom, but you can still lift the pull station up and it's pretty functional. And actually, if we take this little uh, metal piece off at the bottom, as you can see, it's rebranded <gasps> once again by Thorn Autocall. So these pull stations are rebranded probably by at least a dozen different companies. It doesn't surprise me to see something like that. Whoa. But let's go ahead and pull it and see the alarms go off. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty ear piercing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm noticing this camera doesn't seem to pick up the strobes as well, but they are flashing. So I'm just kind of testing out this new camera today. Let me know what you think of it. We'll go ahead and reset the pull station. It uses a hex key. On, SCR, on scrsafety.com, the hex key is not included, but you can find these items in most toolboxes or you can get them pretty cheap at a hardware store. Put that back. And let's go ahead and push the emergency push station. So yeah, that emergency push station, that'd be ideal if you wanted to evacuate the building, but if there wasn't a fire for some other kind of emergency, like a bomb threat or a gas leak, carbon monoxide or something like that. I think last but not least, we will do the fire drill button on the enunciator. Now, from my view on the camera, it looks like this LCD is flashing. It's really not, it's a very stable light in the background. So you put the key in and turn it, which activates these buttons, and then we will press fire drill, or I guess it just says drill, and you hold it for two seconds. All right, reset and system. Put that back in the main control panel. And I think that'll wrap up the test today. Go check out scrsafety.com if you're looking to maybe make a mini fire alarm collection or a little mini hobby system. I have lots of fire alarms for sale 
for not that expensive up there. Thank you guys for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.